I will say, though, I, I actually really do like the troll pick in this game. I think it was a, a pretty clever way of trying to solve the problem Misha. When I say Misha, it's part of Tiger's name. Misha isn't here at Tiger's Okay. Name. Yep, Tiger goes down to Fox. It's the two kills for him early on. Of course, on that Doombringer last game, the so Snake King showing himself. Really bringing the numbers here to oh, this Fox got kind of stuck between a bunch of creeps. Blood right to come, and he gets bursted down by OG. And we see another TP out. End of the day, I don't think Tundra mind this all too much. They might yep, mind this fault. Reality rift back in. Snake King looks to possibly be dead. Another crit from Yoragi. Wants the high five. Not going to be reciprocated as the right clicks from BZM are enough as he has the DD activated as well. Finding a lot of CS just like in the first game. This time around, though, a little bit earlier. Yep. On the first Bushwhacked in the bot lane. Whirling death to follow. Don't know if any TPs are going to come his way, but he's going to try to delay this as long as he can. Into the tree line he goes. Let's do some damage before he can pounce on a tree. Looks like they'll find... Oh, wait! Seb? Is he going to get away? No. Another bushwhack to come. It is a slow build-up for him, of course. I actually wouldn't necessarily have minded seeing the Maelstrom build in this game for that reason. But mm -hmm. Snake King needs to pick up that neutral item. He does. It might cost him his life. It's 33 in the area. See the coil off on two. They're going to find oh. the first kill on Snake King. His nines rolling oh, thunder. No. Not the best usage as Seb gets off of Wukong's command. Looks like he'll be taken out in tow, but still with all that extra armor, will he actually lift the Vespeeder? Looking for the kill, but BZM is there. Somehow. That voice line sounded pretty cool in slow mo. Indeed, boundless strike, 33, is in a bit of trouble here. OG looking for another kill going their way, and they'll find it. 6-3 to three advantage for OG early on. Usually play in what their mentality is. This is no surprise at all mm -hmm. uh, to go for that Maelstrom build. And either way, you're going to end up with a Mjolnir or a... Um, Seb, boundless here. strike. You can see the relocate coming with BZM. Wukong's command to follow, but Seb's all alone inside. And the heal up from Snake King, keeping 33 quite healthy. Seb might have to sacrifice himself, but we've seen him get away many a time. He actually dodges the whirling axes and pounces away again. Seb continually living and forced... I do think in this game, this is probably a better decision, but the dagger will have to come out eventually because they will need that catch. Tundra are smoked up. They're going to run into Yuragi, but nine misses. A oh, catch, he gets oh, spammed the before his ult goes off. Oh, the but the bushwhack, on. again, he gets stunned. Yuragi is living throughout all of this. There's the whirling axes from Troll, pops the ult as well, trying to take out this pesky CK, and finally, Tundra get a kill on a core. Amar, you see that moves be with that... Extra buff as it looks like Nine is finally taken out just before his TP was successful. 33 trying the same road. This time will be successful though as Tundra. The miss spells on both sides as Sab gets off a balance strike onto two. Tree dancing in as well. BZM, the blood right is connected. Soxa is definitely dead here and there's the coil onto two. Looks like the troll is going to not break it this time around and instead they're going to find Snake King and next is Peter. Oh gee. That's kind of a hard question to answer. I what, know, that's what heroes are playing instead? Any. Any hero. Visage. Okay, he's Alchemist. This is pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not on the same level as Alchemist, no doubt. All right, oh. Tundra going in onto Yuragi. He still has that Aegis. He's getting quite low. Taiga not able to get the ult off. Actually gets canceled there, and he's going to get dropped immediately. So Yuragi left his own device to pop the BKB along with his ult. And he's... Oh, the blood right is there. 33 gets off the Doom, but it gets canceled. 33 now on the run as Skeeter getting healed by Snake King. Boundless Strike onto one, and they're going to clean up 33 very easily. Big Wukong's command from Seb. Looks like it'll lead to another Snake King death. But the right clicks from Skeeter. Finally, they're able to kill Seb. So a nice turnaround here potentially from Tundra. The blood right. Skeeter able to sidestep it. Focusing on Yuragi. Remember, he does not have Aegis anymore. Whirly axes are there. Double kill for Skeeter. Amar trying to kite him along with BZM. But they will find Amar instead. BZM, the last remaining member in this area for OG. Right condition, so. Yep, for sure. Oh, we got a big team fight. Apparently Wukong's command is popped. Looks like they'll find the IO. Does Tundra. It's going to be a trade for the Pugna, though. His nine inside is rolling Thunder. Trying to kite a little bit here. The Chaos Ball. Four seconds on this Skeeter. The Blood Rite's coming as well. Rupture on top. He gets off the BKB. Finally gets off the ult. They're just going to make him chase. Taking some damage from that Rupture still, but the right clicks onto Yuragi with the Hoodwing ult. Double kill for Skeeter. Boundless Strike from Seb, though. Tundra trying to fight back. Seb will be taken out. Buyback onto Io, though. They really, really want to kill this Troll Warlord, and they finally do. Amar staying alive throughout all of this, and the scouting out of 33. Won't be able to cancel the TP, though potentially go really wrong as Tundra's heroes are pretty close by and they can't relocate in their other heroes since the IO is already part of the move. 
but now they are trying, trying to bait it in. 33, he's going to get instantly ruptured. He gets off his BKB, but he is dying very swiftly, attempting to TP out. Oh, but the, the bash from Amar is enough. It looked like he was going to get out in time, but the bash very timely from Amar. And now the coil applied to Snake and gets off the Decrepify. Healing up to a high degree by Seth, but the Blood Rise is going to cancel it. Then the double kill for Amar as OG just continuing the onslaught. Sasuke's dead next. It's a five versus two. Skeeter completely surrounded. He pops the BKB, but the rest of OG just completely resetting, waiting for that BKB to run out. Gets off the ult in the meantime, though. Yuragi jumping in, gets a four second Chaos Bolt, and that's going to lead in likelihood to a kill onto Skeeter. One remaining member for Tundra. It is the Pangolier. He's silenced currently and brought down to his knee. Double kill Amar and OG. So make sure you don't lose That's... any more towers without a fight. A rupture? 33 yeah, again. Yeah, he is ruptured. He's working on a Lincoln Spear. He's going to get healed by Snaking. Looks like the TP will be successful, but a double boundless strike from Seb will lead to a kill onto Pugna to start it out. But Skeeter already popping the ult just to take out that pesky Monkey King. So Seb will fall. And the buyback from Snaking as well. Sox have tried to fish for a. That's the decoy, I think. Oh, balance strike misses this time from Seb. They're looking for 33. There's the rupture. They get it off. The Yule's a little bit too late. It's going to get silenced with the blood right as well. Focusing on 33. Gets off the BKB, but the right clicks will suffice as Tundra on the back foot now. And they're just bashing through. Amar's beating the crap out of nine. He's in the rolling thunder, though. He blinks and gets the kill. While BKB, Yuragi getting quite low. But the blood right now onto this troll warlord. And that's another burst of hero in favor of OG. Five dead it's a full team wipe and nobody has lost for OG. and now they go into the mid lane no reason to stop with this troll warlord still technically dead 20 seconds of respawn timer yuragi looking for soxa instantly doomed though by 33 can they get this kill that is just the ages though the buyback now onto skeeter he gets ruptured instantly inside the wukong's command finally gets off the ult they're just gonna make him chase him outside the wukong's command and this is gonna be a dieback if they end up getting this kill he's gonna get the bkb up but die shortly after die back for Skeeter, and this is looking like the beginning of the end for Tundra, as the Boundless Strike does connect onto Soxa, but he cuts the tree, 33 ruptured for the millionth time this game, doesn't matter, he is dead, double kill for Amar, only two members of Tundra remain, and OG looking primed and ready as the GGs are called, OG going to the Grand Finals for the fifth time in their organization's history. Unreal.